So it says in the accompanying figure, the rails connecting end pieces and the rod all have oh they they all have some resistance. Okay. So we have this quantity here. I don't know if there's a standard symbol for uh, resistance per unit length. Uh, let me just call it lambda. I know it's not a standard symbol, but I don't have anything better. Because the, the resistivity rule is uh, one where you multiply it by L and divide by A, then you get um, resistance. So it doesn't quite fit. Anyways, the rod moves to the left at some speed. If a magnetic field is uniform everywhere in the region, um, what is the current in the circuit when A is equal to 10 centimeter and when A is equal to 4.5 centimeter? Uh, that's interesting. So in this setup, I think uh, our the voltage it remains constant because it's moving at this constant speed. So, you know, in Faraday's law, the line integral of e dot dl is equal to minus chi, uh, derivative of the magnetic flux. When you look at this, so left hand side is giving you the voltage. Um, that's one piece of puzzle you would need to calculate the current. And as we are looking at the magnetic flux or the rate of change of magnetic flux, really what we uh, what we care about is the the reduction in the area. So my the time derivative of magnetic flux is really the um, the time derivative of magnetic field magnitude times the area. And here the magnetic field magnitude stays the same. So what you really have is time derivative of the area and looking at this geometry uh, and labeling this h the time derivative of area would uh, simply be um, h height of this times the v rate at which the x component of the area is changing and since my speed of v is uniform um, it's constant height of the rail is constant magnetic field is constant so the value of the voltage is the same um, up until the point when this rod finally closes up and the magnetic flux no longer changes. So, so let me calculate that voltage first, and then I think I can figure out the, the, figure out the resistance and from voltage and resistance calculate the current. So my voltage should be magnetic field 0 0.75 Tesla times the height in the basic SI unit, so that should be 0 0.04 meter times speed in basic SI unit, 2 meter per second. So that's my voltage, 0 0.06. Um, and what I now need to figure out is the resistance. That seems super small, but Uh, must be right. Oh. <laughs> so, so that's my voltage and my. Um, uh, let me. Yeah, I'll figure out the magnitude first, and then figure out the direction. So, the um, the amount of resistance are. Let me write down an expression for that. Resistance is going to be well. I have two segments of this height. Uh, so to, for me to figure the, out the resistance, what I want is I want the the resistance per length times the total length. For total length, I have two vertical sides of length h, and I have two horizontal sides of uh, length a. So it's gonna be lambda times two um, h plus two a. So so let me do that. Um, so for part A, my A's are 10 centimeters. So, um, so for my R, it's going to be uh, 4.5 ohm per centimeter times 
4 centimeter times 2 plus 10 centimeter times 2. And I don't have to convert centimeters because they will cancel out to give me a nice unit of ohm. So that's my resistance. So that uh, with that's the voltage divided by the resistance that will give me uh, my current. So 0 0.476 milliampere. I'm taking this number and multiplying by 1000. Oh, let's figure out the direction. So the direction would be... Um, so as it uh, uh, as the rod is moving to the left, the area is decreasing. So my the direction of my change of magnetic flux will be um, so opposite of the direction of the field. So it'll be pointing into the screen. Um, so that's the direction of my change of magnetic flux. So the current that's induced in the loop will oppose that change. So I want to um, induce the magnetic field to point out of the screen. So using my one of the shortcut right hand rules, magnetic field out of screen, uh, current goes in counterclockwise direction. Okay, so um, let's see, 0 0.476. And the direction should be count, uh, counterclockwise. Good, and let me just get a numerical value for this again. Um, so I just need to change my value of R and 10 centimeter changes to 4.5. Wait. Ah. So, okay, 0.784. Why are they so small? Um, it makes me feel like I made a mistake, <laughs> even when I did it. <laughs> okay, um, 